Hey guys, today I'm back with a more natural video. Um, well, I'm just starting off with my Dior foundation, the Dior Backstage foundation that I use quite often because I like it. Normally, this video would have been voiced over by my boyfriend. Um, I convinced him to do it, but halfway through the video, he got really upset because he didn't know any of the terminology and yeah he didn't want to do it anymore so that is why i'm doing the voiceover of this video anyway so yeah next i'm using the ysl touche glatte to hide all my darkness Next, I'm using the setting powder from Charles Tilbury it's in this compact one. I really love it. It's like blur in a compact. It's must try. For brows, I'm using, do I even have to say it? Of course, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in Medium Brown. I really should start trying out some different brow products, but I've been always reaching back to Anastasia Beverly Hills. So yeah, that's what I'm using right now. I also did a tutorial on my brows a while ago, so you can go back to my channel and watch that if you really want an in-depth video on how I style my brows. Next up is contour and I'm using the contour stick in the color fawn also by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just placing it as you would with a powder but then I'm gonna just blend it out. Now it's time to bring back some color into my life and I'm trying to do that, no I'm gonna do that, with the North Laguna bronzer. For blush, I'm using this compact by Chanel. This was a limited edition, but I know that they have like a cream blush um, version of this that has like almost the same peachy coral color. 
Um, so you could look into that one because I really, really, really love this color. I'm going to highlight my face with the Laura Mercier Face Illuminator Powder in the color Addiction. It's this really nice golden glow that I also like use on the regular also in videos. Um, so you know the drill, this is what I'm using. Now moving on to eyes, this is the 3CE primer, eye primer in the color Potion. Um, you've probably seen it coming by in the one and done eyeshadow videos. Um, I really like this color, I really like the texture and how it blends out. Um, so this is what I'm using to start off on the eyes. Continuing for the eyes, I'm using the Sultry palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. By now Anastasia Beverly Hills really should start sponsoring me by how many products I use of them, but anyways. Um, I'm starting with the color Twig. And I'm just putting it in my crease using the brush that came with the palette. And no, I switched brushes. <laughs> not using the brush from the palette anymore and I'm just building up the crease color with that color twig. Now using the color Sweet Heat by MAC Cosmetics. It's one of these um, multi-dimensional glitter colors um, and I'm using it on a normal eyeshadow brush and I'm placing it in the middle of my eyelid to create more like uh, a halo effect. Now using the color Amber from the Sultry palette, I'm going to use it to bring some darker shimmer in the corner of my eye, and I mean the outer corner. Now I'm also using it on the inner corner to emphasize the more halo look just by using the shimmers. Of course, I'm also bringing it under the eye to tie the entire look together. Now I'm using the color Pearl from the Sultry palette and I'm gonna use it in the inner corner of my eye to give it a little bit of sparkle, you know, to make it pop. Okay, last step, but definitely not the least important, is mascara and I'm using Clinique High Impact Mascara, which is one of my old favorites. And to finish the look, I'm gonna do my lips and I'm using the Rouge Coco Flash from Chanel in the color 82 Life.
Okay, and this then also marks the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial for like this really um, everyday look. Um, if you recreate it, please share it with me in social media. And also, if you like my content, please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!